Hi guys, it's Inam Gafour here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 inch tab. Now we're going to take a look at how to control your TV with your 10.1 inch tab. Now there's an application on this called Smart Remote Peel, P -E -L, which controls the infrared sensor along the top of the device to control infrared devices. Now as well as your TV, this can control your set-top box, your VCR, Blu-ray, DVD player, that kind of thing. But in this example, we're just going to look at the TV. The rest are similar controls. First of all, what you do is load up the Peel Smart Remote application as it is here. It hasn't been set up before, so what we'll do is select the international version because we're in the UK and it prompts you to select the brand of your TV or the device so you can set it up. We're going to choose Samsung because we've got a Samsung LED TV. It says test power on and off to test to see if the connection is working. We'll press it, so I'm just going to bring that low down and then see if that works and you can see it has now switched off the TV so we'll switch it back on by pressing the power button along the top selecting Samsung TV and then done and then it should come back on again in a second as it turns on as it does there so now that it's on you can select TV channels go up and down select customized buttons whatnot from here as well so from the interface, you can add custom buttons. So if we hit that, say if I want to, I've got my PlayStation hooked up. Say if I want to go to that HDMI 1, add that in. And you can see it adds the HDMI button there. So if I tap that down now, if I bring that in, tap it, TV should go to HDMI 1 port. And you can see the PlayStation hooked up. There it is. Now any additional functionality in terms of customized buttons or favorite channels you can add in from there by putting in channel numbers if you're for example using a set-top box or even a standard freeview box you can put in favorite channel numbers from there so it's quite intuitive really it's not too hard to use and you can add in additional buttons as well for example if you use additional inputs I can't remember if I've got anything else plugged into it but I'll hit the plus sign say if I hit audio video 1 and it adds the button automatically there and if I bring the tap down a little bit so you can see the TV if you hit AV1, it changes the channel behind to the audio video 1 input and I've got nothing there so he hasn't bought anything up. But if I want to go back to the TV, I could just press channel 1 from there, see? And you can see it switched to channel 1 on the TV and it will load up, there you go, the TV as it is there. As you'll see in the bottom right of the screen, you've got a little yellow symbol there as a joystick and you can go up or down to bounce the the volume up and down, left or right for the, the channel controls as well. So you can see the TV's flickering around if I bring that back down. So if I go up one with the joystick, it goes to channel two. Channel one from here. I've got the set that box hooked up, that's why there's no other channels on there. Uh, volume up and down if I go up and down as well this time. If you can see the TV, the volume goes up and down. So if I just bounce it up. Is very much at the heart of a lot of what England are doing. Yeah. You can see that's Seems going that's going up. To, uh, so we'll just lower that down a bit. Regardless of what, so it's what not too loud. Thing. If you want to navigate through the menus on the screen, so change anything to do with the TV, this slider here also goes across. So if I go into the menu, that button there, and you've got menu exit last. So if I hit menu, you'll notice menu appears on the TV to control brightness, contrast, settings of the TV basically. You can use a joystick to navigate up and down through the menu. So if I just bring that down, you can see it's going through the options there and going through them. And you can obviously just exit out of it using the exit button and then it disappears off the screen as well. So using the Peel Smart Remote app, you can control your TV, your Skybox, your Virgin Box, TiVo Box, any infrared devices really. You can add additional devices by going to the cog along the top for settings. You can add devices from there. If some of the codes don't work, you can add additional codes. You can add pretty much quite a few devices in there. So if I select add new device and then go to choose device type along the top, you got their set top box, DVD player, Blu-ray, stereo, that kind of stuff all in there. You can select say set top box and then you select the brand again and it automatically has the codes already saved in it. And then you can control them in a similar manner. I think this application is awesome for when you're using it in the living room. It saves you having to reach for the remote where you can just simply use the app to control the infrared sensor along the top to control any infrared device that you have.
I should also state that this app came free as standard on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 inch tab. Didn't have to pay a single penny for it. I also think if you've got a compatible device, you'll also be able to download it from the Play Store free of charge as well. Any questions or comments that you guys have got, hit them up down in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's free and you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and we'll see you next time.